What's up y'all? It's your girl Dr. Nina and today we gonna be cooking again with HelloFresh. I'm hoping that this will be fun. You guys know that I love HelloFresh because you can get your meals done in about 30 minutes. And so it makes it easy, makes it simple. We're using the vegetarian meals box today. Y'all, I'm super excited. Today's video is brought to you by HelloFresh, mainly because I've been getting their boxes for about two years now. And I've always enjoyed the options because they have me cooking stuff I didn't even know I could cook. So I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone. Everything takes about 30 minutes max, and there's so many options from meatitarian to vegetarian. And the cool part is you take all the guesswork out of it. You don't have to worry about planning, shopping, any of that. Everything comes straight to your door. What's even better is HelloFresh is now from $6.99 per serve. You can now get started with eight free meals, and that's up to $80 off your first month of HelloFresh. Just go to HelloFresh.com and enter my promo code DrNina80 and get started today. The fun part about today's video is we're also gonna do another taste test with my videographer, Jason, who's gonna give you his honest opinion about the meals and what he thought. And I've got everything ready for our first meal, so we might as well just go ahead and get into this. And y'all, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it, comment, share, and subscribe, and also click on those notification bells so you can know when I upload on Thursdays and Sundays. Make sure you also check out my Now That's Life podcast which is now live and you can check it out on all your major podcasting platforms links to my podcast can be found down below in the information section the first dish up is the cheesy pesto or zoto and this is delicious again i love hellofresh because of these easy cards and the ingredients are simple to find everything here is not only labeled but it's fresh easy to find from the orzo the parmesan the tuscan heat spice the tomatoes italian cheese mix everything is so easy and it was so simple to prepare. And because the cards are so descriptive, I don't have to feel like I have to concentrate the whole time. I can actually talk. <laughs> I can talk while I'm cooking. That's why HelloFresh is great. It makes you feel like you can really cook and talk. Half moons. I don't play with my food for real. One of the only things I had to use for my own cabinet was salt and pepper and a little bit of olive oil. So the olive oil was to coat the pan for the vegetables. So I placed in the squash with a little bit of that Tuscan heat spice and mixed that up and let that squash brown just a bit, placing just a little bit of seasoning over that. I also added in the orzo, which is already measured for you. So it makes it so simple. I let that cook up with the vegetables and the oil for a while and then add in some water in order to get that nice and tender. I added in the rest of the spice and basically let that cook up for a while while I went and chopped up the rest of the produce like the tomatoes as well as the lemons and also the basil. So everything was nice and chopped down and prepared to be added to the cooking of the dish as well. After that y'all, I made sure that that orzo was nice and cooked well and then added in that cheese blend after I drained it really nicely and then added in those tomatoes as well as the basil had my house smelling amazing do you hear me I wanted to eat right out of the pan but it was not hygienic I also added a little bit of my vegan butter spread and I mixed everything together thoroughly to make sure that nothing stuck you'll want to make sure that when you're making these dishes especially the ones that have to be broiled you use a non-stick pan and HelloFresh even gives you those directions and instructions so I just made sure I added a little bit of salt and pepper after mixing that up as well and now I'm making that panko crush, y'all. HelloFresh has some of the best panko crust. I don't know why, it just tastes so good. So I just take a little of that Parmesan, salt and pepper, as well as the panko, and mix it together and place it over top of the dish. Now I'm putting this dish right on into the broiler. Had my house smelling so good y'all look this is how it comes out that panko comes out perfect every time just that little touch of olive oil i think that's what makes it amazing but then i'm just gonna plate that up and the ultimate taste test is going down myself and my videographer jason of course he taste tested it last time for y'all let's see what he feels about this dish but y'all oh it was already smelling good so i was already betting on it being good y'all this how you get your videographer to step from behind the camera It's good, ain't it? Very good. It's fresh. Listen, this panko. It's good. Mm-hmm. 
Not too hard, not too soft. Mm -hmm. Great consistency. They did it again, y'all. They did it again. Thank you, Hello Fresh. The next dish they sent me was the one pan mushroom ravioli gratin. Man, yet again, very good, y'all. Came with very basic and simple ingredients, including the mushrooms, panko, parmesan, as well as veggie stock and ravioli, mushroom ravioli to be exact, onions, thyme, all of that. Now, one thing I can say is that these are sometimes ingredients I would have never chosen to cook with. So that's another thing I love about HelloFresh is it exposes you to things that you might not ever choose to cook with. Now I know my options when I'm cooking on my own. So y'all can see that I actually do use the cooking cards. They are amazing for making sure that you do things correctly because you can see how everything should look. I have to even remember that I take the stems off the mushrooms. I know you don't eat the stems on the mushrooms most of the time so it's good to see it on the card also just how small you should chop things up because I think that's part of the battle when you're cooking as well and I love that about HelloFresh so I made sure everything was chopped thinly sliced nicely and then when it came to the time I'm so used to working with time that's inside of a can or canister or something like that but making it on your own or taking it off the stems on your own it's something special about that so even making sure you do that correctly and have enough for your recipe is important as well so again all i had to use was my own olive oil and salt and pepper everything else was within the box and so i'm just making sure those mushrooms get nice and tender along with the onions honestly stopping here everything smells so good it already smells amazing so um then from there i made sure that i added the water so that i could go ahead and boil down that ravioli as well with those produce as well and then i added a little bit of the cream that was sent with it over the top because i'm going to prepare to put a panko crust on top of this as well i couldn't thank HelloFresh enough for these panko crusted amazing heavy heavenly scent or heaven scent dishes <laughs> so then I just made the panko just like I did on the last dish and put it over top and baked that up or broiled it just a little while just to give it a nice crust and y'all look at how that looks oh my mouth is watering right now I already ate it too bad I already ate this meal because my mouth is watering once again but here's the taste test and he's not a mushroom eater I have to pull his leg. Mushrooms on top of mushrooms. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. good. It is. That's actually very good. Mm-hmm. Now I'm not saying I'm asking mushrooms not on my stuff. It's really good. It's good. <laughs> he has left us to go to his confine. Last but certainly not least was the heirloom tomato flatbread. Just like the others, this one had an amazing lineup of fresh items like heirloom tomatoes, walnuts, basil pesto, nice flat bread, as well as arugula, ingredients to make a simple vinaigrette, as well as fresh mozzarella. The cool thing about this dish is that while the others took about 30 minutes, this one took about 25 minutes. So it was even less time. I noticed that it was quicker for me to chop up everything because all I had was the walnuts as well as the mozzarella and the tomatoes. Now on this one, even if your chef boyard don't, you could not mess this up. None of these meals could be messed up in my opinion. But basically I just took the basil pesto, spread it on, added on the mozzarella as well as the tomatoes, put it in the oven for about 10 minutes on 450 while I made sure that that arugula was mixed up well with the olive oil and the basil vinaigrette type taste going on and it seemed different to put your salad on top of this crispy flatbread after it had been baked but y'all the best decision ever it tasted amazing and then over that I put the walnuts and so here's the ultimate taste test you know we got a hard critic here Listen, this mozzarella looks good. It does. Okay, arugula. <laughs> All right, arugula. It's like levels of flavor. Well, I'm out. That's delicious. Hopefully, 
hopefully you guys enjoyed it make sure you check out my link down below as well as my code to get your hello fresh box of course thanks so much for watching guys i hope today has been really great for you make sure that you comment share this video with someone who can use it and subscribe thanks so much for watching guys beautiful brown baby doll Hey. Special thanks to Jason Bowie of Trinity Media Solutions for co-producing and filming today's video. His information can be found down below in the information section. Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up. Oh, 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 oh,